Michelle has been baking all her life, a passion that was inspired from her grandmother. She eventually, nine years ago, opened Wild Serendipity, her own business. Michelle, tell us what Wild Serendipity is. Well, Wild Serendipity, the name, uh, came from, I sort of had a thought process of I wanted it to be tied to the prairies oh, yeah. a little bit. And that was sort of the wild portion. I had a little bit me too. And then <laughs> serendipity means stumbling upon a treasure that you weren't really looking for. And so a lot of people have sort of been like that when they've stumbled upon my booth. They are seeing things they haven't seen before. Very cool. Now, like I mentioned right off the top, this was a passion that was greatly inspired by your grandmother. Tell us a bit about that story. Yeah, so my, my grandma was the one that would kind of cook and bake with me. So my mom would drive me over to her house and we would have recipes picked out and we would sit in the afternoon and make things together and nice. eat them together with tea and that. So yeah, she really inspired me. And I was always fascinated, especially with baking like cakes or cookies to watch them through the window in the oven watch them rise it was sort of a magical magical thing so yeah. and what do you think of a forum like this or a platform for local businesses to all come together during the days and and sell their products in one location like this it's great i mean yeah. it's uh, even today like it's not even the busy busy months of july right. and august but you can see the atmosphere here is really vibrant and it's great for the neighborhood, great for the community, and everybody coming together for this, you know, really positive thing, which is supporting, supporting local businesses and uh, allowing people to have a livelihood doing what they love. So what do you hope for Wild Serendipity's future? Uh, just to keep growing. Um, I'm always, you know, looking for new products too. Uh, my two main products are scones yeah. and uh, French macaron, which I learned how to make in Paris at Cordon Bleu. So really? those are my two main ones, but I'm always looking to add new things in, but I'll probably just keep continuing at the farmer's market like this. Oh, very cool. A real sense of community here, supporting local, and I love also that you bring your son down here to help out a little bit. So it really is quite the family affair. It is, yeah. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much, All Michelle, right. well, for chatting so with much. us. Come down to the farmer's market and check out Wild Serendipity. Those scones look delicious, so I'll have to grab one of those after. Don't go anywhere. There's lots more coming up on today's show.